What's up everybody? This is Papito Bless Hands again with another video. This time I'm gonna do the same haircut, which is another taper. But the difference between this video and the last video is that I'm actually gonna show you the back. Now, I didn't use my camera, the one that I'm filming with right now, that's a Canon. On this video, I use my iPhone. I hold it right here while I'm cutting hair. So it's kind of easier to maneuver, I would say. This is gonna be my first time doing voiceover. I'm the type of educator that I'm not too much of a, now you're going to open the lever to, I'm one of those, you know, grab the thing and do this thing type of educator. But you know what, you still learn. If you haven't done so, make sure you click on the subscribe button, share this video. Okay, so what I do first is that I grab my Oster Octane with a one and a half guard and I'm cutting the hair with the grain to preserve his waves. He got a little bit of waves, but you know, he wants to keep them. So this is what I do to start. Now with the Corlea Seniors and the blade facing down, I do my first guideline. Now with the guard all the way open, I start blending that initial guideline. But you can't go too far up. Like for instance, you can't make that too wide. You have to keep it at least quarter, quarter inch wide. Now when you have that first guideline blended, now you close the lever at least halfway and you start blending. Pretty much you're gonna be repeating the same step. Now the first guard that you're gonna grab is the half guard by wall. And you're gonna do the same thing that you did before, except that now you have a guard. You don't wanna make it wider than quarter of inch, because if not, you're gonna go from a taper to like a low fit or something like that. So you do the same motion, you just blending, and pretty much what I said before, the same step over and over again. Now you go from the half guard to the one guard, and you're blending the same way as you did with the half guard, also keeping the length of the blender area to quarter inch remember you don't want to do it longer than that because you end up going from a taper to like a medium fade a high fade or something like that you don't want to do that and now with the one and a half guard you're doing the same thing again. Do you guys see how easy it is to, to blend, to, to fade? I mean, nowadays, with all these guards and, and these videos and techniques, anybody could become a barber, honestly. So I'm just repeating myself over again. The only thing that I'm changing when I'm talking to you is the number of the guard, pretty much. But I'm doing the same thing over and over again. All I'm doing is changing the guard, like I said. Real simple stuff. Now here what I'm doing is I'm cutting with the grain, but reason being is because since I'm holding the phone with my other hand, I can't comb it down. So I'm combing it with a guard and cutting at the same time. Now with my cordless designer with a bowling blade, I'm cleaning up the neck. I'm not creating another guideline. All I'm doing is just cleaning all these hairs at the bottom of the neck. Now you're gonna notice that the same exact steps that I used on the back of the taper, I'm doing them on the side of the taper. It's the same exact thing. Now, the good thing about it is when you cut the same way, you, you that's how you develop speed. A lot of people ask me, how can you get faster? How do you cut faster, etc. Honestly, I don't think that you can move your wrist fast enough to cut hair. You're probably gonna end up messing somebody up i think repetition is what makes you faster all you gotta do is cut the same exact way now as you're looking at right now i'm fading the side tapers the same way that i did the back taper so you continue doing the same thing and you are going to develop speed now for now pretty much the way i explain how to do the back taper is how you do the side tapers so just watch and i'll come back again for the lineup
Now with my cordless T outliners, I'm gonna line up his hair and follow the same hairline. Do not push it back. I repeat, don't ever push it back. This one is kind of self-explanatory. I mean, there's not really a lot to explain, but all you're doing is just making sure that the, the lines are straight and make sure that the side of the forehead is at an angle. Which angle? I have no idea if it's 90, 45, I'm not too good with, uh, what is it, geometry or whatever it is. So, but make sure it's angled, okay? Uh, now, use the corner of the blade like a pen. You see how perfect that curve is? That right there is woof, fire. Same thing here with the beard. You use the corner of the blade like if it was a pen and pretty much you draw in the line. Now you gotta make sure you zero gap yours really good so they can cut like mine, like the way they cutting right now. Now for the back lineup, also keep it natural. I seen a lot of people that push it too far in and then you have like that little V going on. You don't want to do that. You just want to keep it as natural as possible. And make sure you clean around the ears with the corner of the blade. Now the Blessed by PBH Exposed Razor. My favorite is not only the number one seller worldwide, but this is the original exposed razor blade. It exposes the blade so you can see where you put in it. For instance, if it's all the way in and you can't, you can barely see it, you don't know if you're doing a good job or not. With the blessed blade, since it's exposed, you can see it as you can see right now and it allows you to give a more detailed shave. This one is the rose gold. You can find it at www.blessedbypbh.com. And if you use code YouTubePBH, you can get 15% off your whole complete order. I don't know about you, I like discounts. So make sure you put that code in and get a 15% off discount. And there you have it, a clean, sharp taper. Make sure you subscribe. I'll see you soon. Stay tuned for more videos from your truly Papito Bless Hands.